Hey guys and welcome back. I have a problem and anytime I load up my truck to go to the beach, I got my fishing cart and then I got my rods. These are two 12 foot rods. And the problem I'm having is, as you can see, is they're leaning against the tailgate of the truck. And that's one of the best ways to wreck the guides on your surf fishing rods. So as you can see, usually you would put a rod rack right where that cover is. What I have to fix is I have to get these 12 foot rods on an angle because they can't be straight up and down because of power lines. I need to get them on an angle over this surf cart. So let's set up the Porter rod rack. All right, so I bought the five rod rack that comes with a tension bar where it ratchets up. I bought the five rod holder. So I got this all assembled. I just put these on loose because they will need some adjustments once I figure out where they're gonna go. All right, so let's figure out how we're gonna put this in here. I believe if you, yeah, if you open it up all the way, it goes out like that. Let's check it with the beach cart now. All right, so it does need to go back a bit. So I'm already finding that one of the features I really like about it is that you can slide these rod holders to exactly where you need them. Something I really like about this setup is that you can see it's kind of a tight fit, especially when the uh, cover on the truck. So I was able to, to get the wheel to fit, just slide the rod holders over to exactly where I needed them to be. All right, so one of the problems I was running into the other day is these aren't tightened down yet, but even when they're tightened down and you put some weight in them, they start to swing. And I reached out to Porter Rod the other day and Scott helped me. Basically, they're designed to be at the very back edge of your truck, right back here. When you have a cover like mine and you wanna still put this rack on there, you have to be a little creative and what they do have a solution for it and it's just getting another tension bar and that tension bar so it's going to sit back here and support the rod holders from doing that swinging action let's get this set up so you guys can see so it's pretty nice here we go very nice All right, that fits great, and it gives me some rooms to spare for the rods. Something that Porter Rod does really well is they incorporate these locks with cables so that you can lock down not only your rack, but also all your reels. So I'm gonna show you how that works. You can see they have some holes in their system so that you can slide the cable right through that and lock it down to your truck. All right, so to lock this Porter Rod rack system to my truck, um, they have these holes right here, and I ran the cable back to this tie down put it through both of the holes and then just kind of hit the lock to itself so that's not going anywhere you can see this cable for this lock runs right through the reels and that i attached right to the porter rod rack system through that hole and it locks up nice and pretty and you can run this through multiple reels and uh, you can even put it around your cart or whatever you need to lock down so this is a pretty handy system all right, well, there you have it. That's the install of the Porter Rod rack system. And you can see behind me, my cart, everything I need, my reels, my rods fit perfectly in the truck and I can still keep my uh, truck bed cover on as well.